Hello, this is going to be a more chatty video um, telling you how I got pregnant this time. My manifestation success story with manifesting baby number two. It was a completely different process than manifesting my first daughter, um, Layla. If you want to watch that video, which has the exact kind of tips step by step, um, I will link that in the description below. It's been a pretty popular video on my channel and actually helped a lot of women get pregnant, which I'm so grateful to hear when I when I read those messages of women that have watched my videos and gotten um, pregnant. It just fills me with so much joy. So please keep sharing those as well. This has been a different manifestation process than the first baby, so I want to come and share that story as well. So, I'm Dr. Tiffany Shelton Mary Ola. I'm a psychologist. I'm the owner of Conscious Life Shop, and I'm the founder of Dream Life Academy. And on this channel, I make weekly videos on how to create a manifestation mindset. So, if you like those type of videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I know firsthand what it's like to really want a baby. I've never struggled with fertility issues, but I wanted a child for a while, and I used my manifestation station technique to manifest my baby It actually got pregnant on our first try. Um, I also have friends that have manifested their babies um, that did have fertility issues and I have gleaned manifestation techniques from their process as well which I've shared on this channel. Please check it out if you haven't. Um, so I kind of have first-hand experience through, through friends and clients that I've helped get pregnant um, through manifestation techniques obviously wasn't in the room um, or have helped them on their journey through adoption so um, this is something that is becoming more and more familiar and obviously I've had my own experience with it as well so with this baby after my first child I suffered from postpartum depression and I was able to see a therapist and start vibrating high again thankfully and get my mojo myself back after that thankfully it didn't last long but I was afraid to have another child because um, I haven't had him yet with my experience with my first daughter I had thought about everything that I wanted when it came to getting pregnant and the kind of baby I wanted but I didn't think about um, the actual mother I wanted to be and what the experience after birth was going to be like because I was so focused on getting pregnant and getting through the birth naturally. And I have a video on what I wish I would have known before manifesting my daughter that I posted, which I'll link below. Um, so with this baby, me and my husband knew we wanted to have another child, but I was kind of freaked out as to when we were going to start trying in that process. Um, because I was afraid I have my ch first child and she's only, you know, she's a baby, baby. And do I want to do it right now? Do I want to do it later? Um, uh, is it going to be hard if they're too close? What's it going to be like if they're too far apart? Am I going to be depressed again because I have all these uh, obligations and responsibilities? And the first thing I had to do when it came to manifest God, manifest this baby was to let go and to let God. So instead of like my first baby where I had everything planned and envisioned and it felt great to be that specific, this baby, it felt really anxiety provoking to be specific. And what we know from the law of attraction, you should only be as specific as it feels good. Um, I backed off a little bit. I was just more general. I told, the, I told God that I want another child. I don't know when. I'm going to put it in your hands, God, and I'm just going to let it be and let his divine timing take over. Well, lo and behold, we're living in COVID, and I'm around my husband a lot, and <laughs> we got pregnant unexpectedly, um, and it is a little boy. Uh, I am four months pregnant and so I'm due in April, uh, but I just wanted to come on here and share that process because I thought it was a really good example of sometimes we can be so specific that it actually repels what we want and we have to let go and just live our lives sometimes and know what we want, put it out there, expect that it's going to happen, 
um, but let the universe, let God take over. And that's what happened in this process. So it's not a long story because I didn't do as much as I did last time to manifest this baby. But what I did do, I think, was very important to the process, which is to let go. Um, if you want to know more about letting go and allowing when it comes to getting pregnant, I have a video on that, and I'll link that below as well. Um, and if you just want more tips on how to make manifestation easy, that you don't have to even think about it, I have a free daily routine guide, manifestation routine guide that I'll link in the description below that will just kind of make all this manifestation stuff easy. Um, and follow me over on Instagram. It's at underscore Tiffany Shelton. I post um, daily manifestation tips, things that have helped my clients in Dream Life Academy, um, things that I've helped my clients with in, in psychology. And hit me in the DMs if you have any questions. I'm very friendly over there, very responsive. Comment on my posts and I answer, and we can support each other over there as well. Um, thanks so much for watching this video. I just wanted to share a quick little story, manifestation success story with you guys. I hope you appreciate it. And until next time, namaste.